Good afternoon, my friends. It's Wednesday. The 24th. The 24th. Blake and I did our errands and all that stuff. He is eating. I am going to try out this air fryer thing. Thought that I would chat while I did a couple of things on here. But I wanted to talk to you about my favorite topic, which is the metabolism and hormones. Um, it's just something that I think needs to have more of a voice. And I think that there are so many people out there that are just uneducated about it. And um, it's it's just something that I think because it's not, how, what's the word I want to use? How about this? Because so many people are so, so much looking for this quick reset or this quick instant results. Um, we as a society have been trained like that. You know what I'm saying? And so when it comes to certain things, people just want to be told, do, what do I do? Okay, that's gonna work, okay, great. And that's, it's not as easy as that. But I can tell you this, that your metabolism is more trainable than you think. I can tell you this, one, the, another thing I can tell you is another big, huge, giant, ginormous, fat, fucking mistake that people make. Yes, like I said, what? Word. he went, looked up at me is that they're constantly dieting. Your metabolism hates that, hates it. Mm -hmm. So you know where the healing needs to take place is here so that you can kind of toggle back and forth for your metabolism and for your body, right, to get that desired result that, that you need or that you're, that you're looking for. So here's an example, somebody, Reducing their calories, reducing their calories, exercising like a crazy person, and you might get results at first, and then all of a sudden you, you know, at a screeching halt or what have you. And then there's like this, okay, all bets are off and you go crazy, right? I'm just gonna eat this, I'm gonna do that, and blah, 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 blah. And because you have this idea in your head that you fucked up. But here's the thing, your metabolism needs to be cycled. It's gotta go through cycles, my friend. The healing needs to be done in here so that you are able to do that. That is the problem. That is why I became an NLP coach. That is why I became a hypnotherapist. That is why I became a tapping practitioner. Because if I am not able to help people heal in their mind, they will never be able to go through those cycles in life that are necessary for your body and your metabolism, okay? I look at it myself like, boy, you look tired. I forgot to put my mascara on. So isn't it interesting how mascara does that? Here's the deal. If you are if if you are somebody that is constantly reducing your calories, and let's get one thing straight. A calorie deficit, meaning a calorie reduction, is absolutely 1000 percent important for weight loss. I like to say fat loss. However, you can't do that all the time. You can't. Your body is like this. Look at that, I got no nails here, okay? Your body is like, will you give me a break? Give me a break. I cannot be stressed out like this all the time. That's another reason why I became a macro coach. So last year was a massive year for me education-wise. I knew it was imperative for me to get those, uh, get that education and those certifications so that I could have the wealth of knowledge in my head so that I could help those that need to be helped through this whole process. People think that I'm, I wanna lose weight so I have to reduce my calories and that's just that, so I'm gonna forever diet. You have to cycle out of it. You have to cycle, you gotta to toggle back and forth with things. Now listen, if you're exercising, if you are exercising very little, then you need to make sure that you're eating in alignment with that. You don't wanna exercise less, excuse me, you don't wanna exercise more and eat less. If you're exercising more, you eat more. Hold on. I don't know, I don't know. Wait, do you know how to get her out of there? Okay. Hopefully you get out of there. If you are exercising more, you eat more. If you are... Help! Help me take this off. Hey, Anna. Serious panic mode? No. What is it? You want to get out of the camera, right? Hey, stop patting my back. Why? It's like a freak show around here. Right? No. Ah! 
That's what it's like right here. It's like fucking nuts. Anyway, where was I? It, let's talk about this. If you are somebody that does like to exercise, you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, here's the thing. Yes, muscle is important, right? Because if you do strength training, you do exercise and all of that stuff, and, and, and the more like muscle that you have, you know, it is going to help out your metabolism, but it's a, literally one factor. If you have like a one extra pound of muscle might burn maybe six to 12 extra calories. So it's not like, oh, go out there and start, get, start weight training so that you can burn all this massive amount of calories. It's not that. Weight training is, for me is really about um, helping along, obviously, with the body composition. But I need the strength, you know, and I'm looking for the bone density as well. So there's all these other factors, right? And I moved the comments out of the way. So if anybody's commenting, I'm not watching because then I'll get all, like, turned around. So um, the fact of the matter is, is that if you are somebody that this is what people assume they want to lose weight but then they think but i don't want to exercise well nobody ever fucking said you had to okay you don't have to exercise okay just know this it's about calorie deficit and hormonal balance okay so if you are stressed out to the core my first thing to tell you is this focus on stress management Okay? Your body is not going to release weight if your, if your hormones are all out of whack. Your body is absolutely not going to release weight if you are reducing calories to the point that it's starving to death, hence equals stress, it's not going to release weight. Your body is not going to release weight if you are not sleeping. Your body is, your, your metabolism is basically a stress barometer. So the first thing my advice would be is figure out what camp you're on. Meaning like, are you an exercise more person like me? You will never not see me in the gym. It's something that I love, okay? It gives me my head space. It gives me just that uh, sense of accomplishment. It gives me confidence. It gives me camaraderie with others. There's a sense of community. That is me. Do I have that same expectation on you? Absolutely not. You do what works best for you. Oh, she wants the TV on. <laughs> you do what feels good to you. If you need to lose weight, so then that is why there are coaches out there that have this model that everybody's supposed to fit in, like inside this box. And that, that doesn't work. So as a coach, you have to have the ability to meet people where they are in their lifestyle and what works for them. So if you are somebody that loves to work out and you are looking to lose fat and, and all of that and, and you want to lose some extra weight, well, you first of all better make sure that your stress is managed and that you are eating enough caloric, um, that you're having enough caloric intake to meet the demands that you're putting on it through the exercise. Okay? The biggest mistake you can make is exercise more and eat less, period. And that's what everybody thinks that they need to do. And I'm here to tell you that that is not. That's incorrect. If you're going to exercise more, you need to eat more. If you're going to, if you don't want to exercise, then make sure that you're not eating more, okay? So just kind of figure out where it is that you are. Understand too, that you need to cycle through these things. So for example, you may take a period of time, and this is where I was talking about in the beginning. You need to take those periods of like, okay, I just cycled through an exercise more, eat more phase. Now I'm going to chill out a little bit, maybe for a week or two, and I'm gonna eat less and exercise less. Here is what people's stories in their mind always says. You're lazy, you fucked up, why aren't you at the gym? Now you're gonna gain 10,000 pounds, all of that stuff, and that is a lie. In fact, what's happening is, is your body is saying, thank you, thank you, and thank you, okay? I know I'm getting real passionate about this, but I get so worked up when I see posts all over Facebook because people don't know what to do 
or they're they're getting advice from people that don't know what the hell they're doing you know what i mean and there's so much information out there that it gets so confusing for people and it's so noisy and then people are like then they just shut down and say forget it you know what i'm saying but what i'm trying to tell you also too is food quality matters yes calories matter like this all matters right but then there's also the hormonal side of things so like for example i'm a big fan of um, you know, making sure that your protein is pretty high and you know, it just kind of depends on how much data you have. Like I know exactly how much lean muscle I have on my body because I had what's called a DEXA scan. So I know exactly how much protein to eat. Now, some people, they don't, they don't know that information. So they're, it's just kind of a guessing game, right? But you know, it's, if you don't, if you're not a numbers person, you don't need to be a numbers person. If numbers freak you out and they stress you out, then it's okay. You can also eat intuitively, but you also really need to understand how important the protein is. You know, so there's so much information and there's so many different avenues that you can go down. It's just that you have to determine how you want to live, what makes you feel the best, what makes you feel like shit, and how like committed that you want to be and 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 recognize what is messed up thinking what is scientifically healthy you know what is not you know so most people they desire for example athletes like I always have I know me I am fascinated by them but the more and more that I learn they're just consistent they're not having these crazy false expectations are not continuously starting over. They are not exercising more and eating less. They are, they know they need to eat to perform. So it would be completely asinine if an athlete, like, you know, my, I'm a big fan of Tom Brady, you know, let's just use him as an example. If he decided that, you know, he was going to have this great football year and then he decided that he was going to calorie reduce, People would look at him like, you, what? His coaches would say, okay, you're nuts. You know, what crazy train did you just get off of, right? And so athletes know that in order to perform, that they have got to make sure that their caloric intake is on point. And interestingly enough, most people, the bodies that they desire, the, the people, the women, the physiques, let's say, because let's say I'm speaking to all women here, those physiques that you desire, they understand this. They understand everything that I just mentioned. They are willing to put the work in. They are also listening to take the time to figure out what is working for them and what isn't. Most people just say, I just want you to tell me what to do. Just tell me what to eat and tell me what to do and that's it, I, that I'm good. Well, no, that's not good because then we're skipping over all the shit that really needs to be done, which is you figuring out you. You have got to figure out who you are, how your metabolism reacts and adapts, and how you need to cycle things, right? So kind of like, here's an example, like Trevor, I was chatting with him and him and his girlfriend are CrossFit people and his girlfriend is a competitor. Well, actually, Trevor is as well. I'm not a big CrossFit person. I respect that whole thing, and it's a great community and all of that. But she has gotten it down to the point where she knows that she has to eat this certain amount of calories for a couple of days, and she goes down and eats this certain amount of calories for a couple of days, and then she goes and eats this certain amount for a calorie day for a couple of days. In most people's minds, most people's minds, they think. Oh my God, I'm, I, oh, I, I'm eating way too much or I'm way too bit, oh, you know, and then if they feel like they're all over the place with their calories or their food intake, then they feel like they're all over the place. But in fact, all she is doing is working with her metabolism. She's working with her performance schedule. She's working with her body. You know, because she did the work and understands exactly what it needs and how to love it. When you're constantly going in this calorie reduction and you think that you have to go in this, you know, like um, do or die and I'm going on the travel even though I'm fucking exhausted. I'm going to do it. 
Why? You're just beating yourself up. You're beating up your body. Your body doesn't want that shit. Doesn't want it. You know what I'm saying? So you, you have to really understand that you got to just chill out for a second <laughs> and understand that you're going to have these moments, but your body needs those moments, you guys. It's all about this. What is going on in the thought process? But if you understand these cycles and you understand and you have the awareness and the knowledge of it and you know what to expect, so kind of like the first time you ride a roller coaster, it's like, woo, right? You're scared. Then the next time you ride it, you know what to expect. So it's a little bit more fun. So you're, the fear kind of gets out of the way and those yucky thoughts and all of that stuff, right? So it's the same kind of thing. This is what I want you to take away today. Stop reducing your calories and stressing yourself out and stressing your body out. You are not doing yourself any favors. I hear this all the time. What used to work isn't working anymore. Yeah, because your body has been metabolically, it's now metabolically dysfunctioned. It's dysfunctional because of the dysfunction that you have placed on it. You can turn it around. You can repair it, whatever word you wanna use. And you will have to cycle through some of these things. Like for example, I have a couple of clients that I'm specifically working with outside of my academy where we have had to, we have had to for about four months, each of them, we had to go down that scary road to them of increasing that calorie intake gradually. But what happened to both of them? We repaired, we healed, we cycled through that cycle. They were both so scared, like, holy shit, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm eating more than I ever have in my entire life and I'm not gaining weight? Right, because we gradually increased their, their calories as their metabolism was what? Adapting, yeah, okay? So as the metabolism was adapting, they were eating more and then guess what? Guess what happened? Their body said, okay, you can go ahead and lose weight now. So we were able to phase them into then a caloric deficit gradually. They are both losing weight. Their body composition is drastically changing. And these are women that are over 50, right? So most women think, well, I'm over 40. That's because they believe that. I'm over 40, it's all over. That's it, you know, I got my mom's metabolism. You know, I just, I'm done with. No, I'm not buying it just because you are. It's a fucking excuse and you are choosing to believe it and own it as your truth, right? So here's the thing. I'm excited. You don't know why? Because I'm going on vacation. I'm going to give my metabolism a little bit of a break, a little bit, you know, because I've been, I kind of went through my resting and now I'm in my, my phase, but I'm, I'm eating accordingly, you know, but I'm going to go and relax. going to go relax and be okay with it right? While I am there, I am going to put together the best educational challenge. And when I get back, you are going to learn some massively awesome information. And so that will be, I'll be launching that out mid to late August. So just stay tuned, just know some good stuff is coming. But I'm just seeing the continuous pattern over and over again, you know? And so it's super important that you get to know you. At the end of the day, that's what it has to, you know, has to deal with. There are some people, no matter what they do, everything works. There are some people, you try it and you turn into a freaking fluffy doughboy. You know what I mean? Like, you feel like the Michelin man. <laughs> it just kind of depends on your lifestyle, your, um, uh, your stress levels, your sleep. There's all of these things that matter. It's not just all one-sided. All one-sided would mean caloric intake. There's also hormones that we need to worry about. I don't wanna say worry, consider, that we need to consider, okay? Things like insulin, cortisol, okay? Also your adrenals, your thyroid, I mean, there's all of these things that, that take place. And when I say thyroid, I don't mean 
the, about having a thyroid issue. I'm just saying that the thyroid plays a major role in so many things that all of this stuff affects your thyroid. Okay, so, all right, I'm gonna roll. Just wanted to take a massive break, share some information. Blake wants to go to GameStop because I promised him that if he was good at the doctors, that he would get a reward. So I told him he had to come home, make a little food and all that. But let me see if you guys had commented before I exit off. Um, hi, Lauren, hi, gorgeous. I don't know if you're still here or not. Okay, so Don is asking about hot flashes. Aw, oh, thanks, Lauren. Your life. <laughs> You're so welcome, Deb. I miss you. Hey, Don. Awesome. Okay, you guys, have a wonderful afternoon. And if you're not a part of my mindset or Master Your Mindset and Metabolism group, make sure you get in there. Okay? Um, that's where I'm with, you know, that's where I host all of my challenges and things like that. And um, I try my best which I'll be sharing this in there. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason for me to create double content in the same day. You know, you gotta be, gotta be repurposeful. Uh, but make sure that you are in there. I also, you can also check out my Amazon store. It is really geared toward my clients, but you can still get benefit from it as well. Um, just go to kellydunlap.com forward slash store. Okay, check that out. And um, there's a lot more to come. So I'm super excited that I also have a podcast that's going to be launching soon. Working on that with my podcast manager, editor, copywriter, all that stuff. Super, super stoked about that. So I'll be able to go on these soapbox rants, right? And just talk into that microphone and then just share it with the world. So um, have a wonderful day. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll talk to you soon.